In this tip of the day, let's take a look at the difference between rotation and rotation plane. All right, so if you want to rotate something within one CNC, the first step is to select the geometry. I'm going to hit the shortcut, which is Control A, Control Alpha on the keyboard, and that will select everything. Now, to select the rotate command, it's located in two places. We can access rotate from the top of the screen, or we can head over to the command manager, select transform, and rotate. First thing to do is tell one CNC where we want to rotate the geometry around. So I'm going to take my cursor, I want to rotate around the origin, the X0, Y0, Z0. So I'm going to left click the origin with just a left click. And now if we look in the lower left hand corner, there's six different options. There's three different rotation plane options and three different rotation options. Simply put, the rotation options at the very bottom, that's simply going to rotate the geometry around the world axes, the default world construction plane. In fact, as a reminder, if you look in the lower left hand corner, there is your world axis gnome. You've got RGB, XYZ, X being red, Y being green, and blue being the Z axis. All right, so if I want to rotate around the world Z axis, I'm going to come down here to the very bottom and where it says Z, I'm going to type in 90 degrees and click OK to that. And now you can see we have the geometry that's been rotated around the world Z axis. Very simple. All right, let's undo that with a control Z, control zebra on the keyboard. All right, now let's change things up a little bit. Let's open up our construction plane tools and let's create a construction plane on this face right there. Very good. I'm going to move this over to the side so that it's out of the way. If I hit the space bar and select plane, one CNC will rotate the view so we're looking normal on the construction plane. So again, if I want to rotate this, I need to select the geometry first. Control A, Control Alpha on the keyboard. Let's head back over to the command manager, select rotate. Again, I want to rotate around X0, Y0, Z0, so I'm going to snap the origin. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the geometry in reference to the current construction plane. So now, instead of selecting rotation Z, I'm going to select rotation Z plane and type in 90 degrees. We'll click OK to that. And that looks good. And now we've rotated that geometry in reference to the current construction plane. So just remember, if you want to rotate geometry in reference to the current construction plane, then you're going to want to select rotation plane. However, if you want to rotate the geometry in reference to the default world construction plane, then simply just use the rotation options. That's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.